how's everybody doing? I'm hoping you're having a very, um, very awesome evening. This is um, Smash Adams again, coming at you with another deck profile. Um, this one is about the Monarch deck that I was working on for a while. It's pretty consistent now and um, pretty broken. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Comment, rate, subscribe, enjoy. To start with the monster lineup. We have three Guardian Yatos. Pretty powerful, especially with this build. With D Fissure and Macros Cosmos, you have nothing to worry about as long as they're not destroyed or heavily protected, depending on what you use, you're fine. So, who wouldn't want 2,500 points? Plus, if you discard an Eclipse spell, gains um, 500 points for every monster in your opponent's grave that was removed from play. So, another ups to this card. Very boss, very powerful. Another beat stick to the deck, which is pretty useful. Dark Samorg for negating um, your opponent's some um, privileges of setting cards. And who wouldn't want that, especially with Benity Speed? That would be an awesome combo, negating special summons and preventing your opponent from setting cards. Pretty powerful. Next we have three Caiuses pretty much for removing stuff from play, and if it's a dark monster, a thousand point burn. And plus with soul exchange, even better, because you can destroy back row cards too if you tribute their monster as well, especially with the Fissure, it's instantly removed to the monster that was tributed. One Reza, I hope to get another one. Pretty much for returning um, cards to the top of your opponent's deck, or anyone's deck, but I would pretty much use the opponent's because it's a lot more liable. <laughs> Next we have Vanity Speed for negating special summons. So pretty much it acts as a uh, pretty much acts as a negation for, for special summons. It's like a it's like a Thunder King Ryo, but you don't have to sacrifice it. That's pretty much what it is. Anyway. Then we have three Cyber Dragons for quick special summons for Monarchs and all those other, other um, one tribute type beat sticks. Then we have 3DD Survivor, obviously for um, D Fissure and Macros Cosmos. Pretty good, especially for being removed and all. May put some Survivors in on the side. Two faders, three can get cloggy, just for negating damage. And plus, if you want to tribute it, go go right ahead. You um, you have nothing to lose because you'll be summoning more monarchs in no time since you have a fader on the field. Two valleys for drawing cards, returning cards, just anything, just as long as it's removed from play. And lastly, morphing jar for milling cards. And getting more if you had a, if you had like too many dead draws. Next, we go into the spell lineup. It's pretty consistent with this build, and it's helped me through a lot of tough situations, especially against um, I, and especially against um, synchros and um, black wings. We have three D Fissure, pretty much for removing monsters from play like D Survivor or any of those other good monsters. You can bring them back with Return from a Different Dimension, but don't really have that card in my, in my deck, so, yeah. One Allure. Not sure if you can see it. One Allure. One Rota for getting Warriors, the only Warriors in my deck. Two DDRs, I make it three, just because of Yatos and her second effect. One book, I realized it would be useful because a lot of times um, protection was the main problem with this deck. And next we have two MSTs for back row destruction. Well, for any deck it would be pretty useful. And one dark hole, staple. And lastly, three soul exchange for um, 
sacrifices, say if you didn't have cyber dragons or any um, other monsters in your field to bring them out in time. But the downside is you can't really conduct your battle phase. You can use the effect, but you can't really do much of anything with that monster until next turn. And the traps, which will be the last bit of it. Here we have Solemn Warning for negating shit. Three Macros Cosmos for um, pretty much removing anything that goes to the grave. It instead gets removed. So see you later. You won't have you won't have to won't have to worry about bringing that stuff back anymore because you won't be using it. Uh, one Torrential and lastly one Mirror Force. Overall, the deck works. It's pretty consistent. I only lost once with this deck. It, um, especially with the Morphing Jar and all, it's beneficial with Mechrix Cosmos. I added Delge into the side, mainly because of the, uh, the milling combo I came up with um, later, early on when I started using this deck. I may make a couple of changes in the future with this, so um, def definitely love these cards, though. Yazos is one of the main focuses of this deck, along with Caius. Getting getting him out, along with um, Yazos, you'll be, you'll be, um, you'll be, um, in the long run, uh, be, um, just, just scoring, um, just scoring wins with this deck, especially the way it was built. Anyway, this has been this has been another deck profile. You can subscribe. Let me know what you think. If you have any suggestions? Well, you know what you can do. Just um, just shout out. Give me any advice and anything like that. This has been another deck profile. This is um, Smash Adam signing out. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.